China's first Type 054B frigate, the Luaha, marked a significant milestone in its naval evolution by debuting in a maritime replenishment exercise in the Yellow Sea. The exercise, which took place in March 2025, highlighted the vessel's advanced operational capabilities, setting the stage for its full integration into the People's Liberation Army Navy plan. This debut was particularly notable, as the Luaha was only commissioned in January 2025, just two months prior to the training event. The frigate, identified by hull number 545, is the flagship of the newly developed Type 054B class and represents a major leap in China's ongoing naval modernization efforts. The Luaha's debut training exercise included a variety of challenging scenarios designed to test the ship's combat readiness and multi-mission capabilities. Partnering with the Type 903A replenishment ship, Dong Pinghu and the Type 052D destroyer Xining, the exercise involved complex maneuvers such as visit, board, search, and seizure (VBSS) operations, simulated navigation in harsh weather conditions, and search and rescue drills. The event provided a comprehensive evaluation of the Luaha's combat systems, including live-fire exercises with its 100 mm main gun and Type 1130 close-in weapon system (CIWS). Furthermore, the ship conducted tests of its vertical launch system an important feature for future naval engagements. Launched in October 2023 and commissioned less than two years later, the Luaha's rapid transition into training exercises is indicative of the plan's ambitious timeline to integrate this advanced frigate class into its operational fleet. Built to replace the Type 054A, the Luaha is equipped with cutting-edge technology, including an integrated main mast with improved radar systems, advanced sensors for electronic warfare, and a reduced radar cross-section for stealth. Additionally, its vertical launch system is designed to enhance missile capacity, though it remains smaller in scale compared to larger planned destroyers like the Type 052D and Type 055. The Type 054B frigates are a key part of China's broader naval strategy, aimed at enhancing the planned surface combatant capabilities in various roles such as air defense, anti-submarine warfare, and regional security operations. The Luaha is the first of its class, with additional units already in production suggesting a rapid expansion of the Type 054B fleet. As more ships are completed, these vessels are expected to be deployed in critical maritime regions, contributing to China's strategic presence in the Asia-Pacific. In terms of specifications, the Type 054B class weighs approximately 5,500 to 6,000 tons, a significant increase from the previous Type 054A frigates. The Luaha is powered by a combined diesel propulsion system, allowing it to achieve speeds of over 28 knots. It also features a sophisticated combat management system, which incorporates an S-band ASA radar and an H-LJQ-368 X-band ASA radar for superior target tracking and acquisition. With a diverse arsenal that includes the HQ-16 surface-to-air missiles, YJ-83 anti-ship missiles and torpedoes, the Luaha is well-equipped to perform a wide range of military operations. Despite being classified as a 5,000-ton class frigate, the Luaha's features reflect a significant upgrade over its predecessors. The ship's larger crew capacity, advanced weaponry and cutting-edge sensors mark a new chapter in the plan's evolution of naval warfare technology. The Luaha's rapid integration into operational training highlights China's commitment to strengthening its naval forces and asserting its maritime presence globally. As the plan continues to expand and modernize its fleet, the Luaha and subsequent Type 054B frigates will play a central role in China's long-term naval strategy. Over the next two years, further evaluations and extended combat exercises will be crucial to achieving full operational capability. These ships are set to become integral components of China's advanced naval forces, contributing to the country's ambitions of establishing maritime dominance in the region.